Treated lumber is a popular building material that plays a key role in the construction of many of our structures in the Pacific Northwest. Our good friend Dennis McWhirter is an expert on pressure treated wood with nearly three decades of experience in the industry. In this series, Dennis provides answers to some common questions and reminds us why treated lumber is one of the best things we can do to help preserve our greatest renewable resource. Arsenic is found everywhere. <laughs> um, in fact, um, there's 90 elements to make up the Earth's crust, and one of those is arsenic. So arsenic is pretty much in everything that's around us. Um, we have arsenic in our water, we have arsenic in the food that we eat, we have arsenic in ourselves. You know, without the arsenic, um, you know, that's one of the nutrients that really kind of help compose everything you know, make everything grow and, you know, and it's part of us. Um, do we put arsenic in our wood? Arsenic was in the wood before we even treated it um, because arsenic was pulled out of the ground as a tree grew. It's one of the nutrients that's in the ground. You know, if you did a raised garden bed and you put dirt in the ground to raise your vegetables in, there would be arsenic in that in that dirt. There's arsenic in the water that we, that we drink. So, um, yeah, there's, you know, there's arsenic in the wood, there's arsenic in me, there's arsenic in you. Um, so, yeah, it is not arsenic free, but there is no extra chemical, arsenic chemical put into it. So everybody always asks us, can you use treated lumber for a raised garden bed? Sample answer is yes. I think you're gonna find the chemicals that are used in today's treated lumber are chemicals or objects that we use in everyday life. I did a radio interview here not too long ago, and I had a participant in that, and uh, I asked a young gal, I said, hold out your hand, and I said, I put, in her hand, I put six pennies. I said, do you un feel uncomfortable holding that amount of money? And she said, no. I said, do you un feel uncomfortable holding copper in your hand? And she said, no. I said, what would you say if I told you on a regular raised garden bed, you get about the equivalent of six pennies of copper? Now the other chemical that's in there is our azole. And you know, I have an apple here. This is a Washington apple. This Washington has been sprayed with an azole. It's an organic fungicide. The other product that we use is water. So right now, in my hands, I hold the three chemicals that we use to treat our wood with. <music>